hello guys you're welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're still welcome my name is obian jukris thank you guys for stopping by thank you guys for watching my video thank you guys for all the good you do please guys i want to use this opportunity to say please do not forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to like do not forget to comment at the end of it all as you can see in today's video the setting is totally different yes guys I've, i mean business this time around honestly i am not happy i'm having mixed feelings um i don't know how to describe the way i feel at this point in time and that is why i have decided to come out here to air my mind to talk about all the things that are bothering me yes guys for those of you people that have been watching my video or you have been following me you will know that i stay in the uk and currently there are lots of things going on it's a good example of it is the coronavirus thingy see guys this thing is not child's play like this thing is not something that we all are going to be joking about. I honestly wake up every day and I don't even know what to expect. I honestly wake up every day and I don't know how to react to certain things. A lot of people are so scared that they have gone into panic buying. Yes. So if you don't know what panic buying is, this is when you're really afraid of the unknown and then you go on to stock your house on commodities that you probably need in the future yes guys there's nothing wrong with doing that but doing it in excess is where i have a problem yes how can you go on and you buy and buy so much that you don't even consider other people honestly i i, I feel sad about it because like i said it is affecting me the typical example of why I said it's affecting me is because the other day I remember my husband waking up quite early to go to the store to see if he can buy my baby's milk. I'm not one of those people that will buy and, and stock up the whole house because I, I, I don't know what is going to happen. Yes, it is good to get ready. I have I've gotten the ones I can get and I believe that I should also consider other people yes guys so he woke up and he went to buy this milk like i said and decided to stock up on other things that we've exhausted guess what when he got to the store all the shelves in all the stores he went to were empty i'm talking about from savers to asda to lidl to just name them all the stores were empty my baby's food that was the main reason why he went out guys this man could not find even one on the shelf he just kept on saying that all the shelves were empty all the diapers were gone all the 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 the, the wipes were gone all the baby's foods were gone like I, I i literally broke down because i don't know what to do guys if you know where i can get baby's um formulas please tell me because I really don't want to be emotional right now what if this thing continues does that mean that my baby will not have any food to eat things like this are reasons why i have decided to come out here to make this video it's not just even about the baby's formula guys even down to drinking water he picked water and he was told that he can't go out with more than four containers more than four bottles of water guys just imagine adults how are we going to cope without water so because of this there's what we call preference old people are being given the opportunity to buy first before every other group of people come in now how does this work in where i live let's assume that the stores are open by nine by 9 a.m so what happens is that from 9 a.m to to 10 a.m the aged people have been given the opportunities to come and buy whatever thing they need i'm happy about that because really these people are very vulnerable they are very fragile that they cannot be doing the rush in all these stores kudos to, to whoever that thought about it i think it's a nice thing to be done but then guys just imagine the stores that you usually enter and pick whatever thing you want now you cannot enter you've been given a particular time to enter so that everybody can get what they need 
guys i am begging if you're watching this video and you're one of those people that are buying to the extreme please take it easy so that people that really need stuffs can actually get what they need at the end of this race let us not also forget to to do our best let us not forget to take preventive measures like washing our hands with soap and water use hand sanitizers keep our environment clean nobody is talking about washing clothes guys do you realize that at the end of it all it is also very important to wash your clothes as often as possible yes wash your clothes as often as possible because you don't know who you might have gotten close to that has this virus like i said i just came out here to air my view let me know in the comment section what you think about this virus thing that is happening like i said i really feel sad i really feel terrible thank you guys for always watching thank you guys for always commenting please do not forget to like subscribe and comment until next time see you bye